Today I'm going to be ranking the best Shopify themes for clothing stores in 2023, starting with Prestige. So I'm going to actually open up the actual theme demo store so we can kind of at least together we can take a look at it um, and give it its proper ranking. To me, Prestige is obviously one of the most popular ones out there and it just just like as the name implies, I would say is very elegant, right? And prestigious. Um, I do think that they achieved that by just literally adding some spacing in between the letters. When it comes to clothing stores though, the fact that they have like a more of a handbag, you know, as, as their demo store, it just doesn't scream to me like clothing but it could be for like, I don't know, like ties and, and, and just like bow ties, like that type of like maybe clothing accessory. It just looks like, yes, this would be the one for it. Like I said, I, it's, it's on the popularity list. It's, it's high up there. Um, it's also some, like one of the oldest ones. So I think for Prestige, where do we have it? We have it in here, right? Um, prestige, yeah, right here. I think it's gonna go under a B. B. So just so you know, the ranking we have uh, at the very top, we have S, which is, is the GOAT, right? GOAT themes. Next up, we have A, which is a Hall of Fame. Then B, which is it's solid. So it's prestigious, a solid theme. Then we have C, which is decent. And then D, garbage. Don't, don't even think about using that theme. All right, let's move on to the next one. Okay, let's move on to the next one. So here, Color Block. Color Block is so bad that when I clicked on the demo store, it didn't even load. Anyways, so let's go back here. So we can't even appreciate how color block actually looks. This is one of the free themes from Shopify. Um, it is kind of new and it is like all these themes are based off of the Dawn theme, which we'll get to that one here in a little bit. But yeah, color block, I think they were trying something in here. Um, and as the name implies that we're trying to do a play with color and shapes and stuff. But at the end of the day, like, yeah, it's gonna go into D, garbage, sorry. Sorry, Shopify, don't hate me for that. But um, yeah, it's it's just not very good. I just don't, I would not recommend it for anyone uh, doing a clothing store. Let's see what we have next here. Ah, I'm kind of going blind because I can't, I have so many tabs open that I don't even know which one is which. So we have Dawn as the next one. So yeah, Dawn, man, when this came out, it was so nice. It's super fast for one, it's free, second. Uh, it's made by Shopify. And it's just, oh man, it has, I think it, for someone starting out, this has the just the necessary things and none of the other fluff. So if you're just starting out and you want a good, decent store that's fast, that has enough features for you to kind of get, uh, get it off, get it going, then Dawn is for you. And the, the other thing about Dawn, and uh, sorry, but yeah, this is, a, this is a goat. This is gonna go as a goat, a goat theme. The thing about Dawn is that there's also so many videos out there for Dawn. Like we have even made a bunch of videos. And if you haven't, you can check those out right here. But those videos are like very specific for Dawn and it just, it works every single time. Like there's a there's a lot of community and, and on the forums and Shopify forums and YouTube videos where they talk about customizations for Dawn. So if you want to make it even a little bit better, you definitely can. And that's, that's just, yeah, that, that will, to me, that will, it makes it a GOAT theme. It's like, you can get started with it, it's free. There's a lot of support, um, a lot of customizations out there for, for it. And a lot of people are using it and they're, they're loving it, so yeah. Although I will say, uh, don't get stuck with Dawn for a long time. I think at some point you will want to, you know, maybe use some of these other ones uh, for your store. All right, let's see what's next. I really don't know what's next here. Um, I'm gonna start closing some, some of these tabs. I, I don't wanna do this one, because, okay, let's do this one. All right upscale now upscale it's kind of new i will say that so this is not in the top of the popularity so by the way the, the way that i kind of looked or hand selected all these i went through clothing store themes and i went through popularity so i was kind of picking some of the most popular ones and you'll be surprised man like there is one theme in here that is absolute garbage that i can't wait to talk about it because i don't even know how it made it to it's like on the second page there's like I would say like a hundred themes. There's a hundred themes that Shopify deems that could be good for clothing stores. And man, there's, anyways, anyways, let's let's get back to this one. So upscale, upscale did not show up towards the top of the popularity, but it does show up towards the top of uh, sort of like most recent uh, themes. And that's why I just kind of want to give a shout out to maybe a couple of newer themes that uh, maybe don't get uh, the reach that they should. Because upscale to me, it just, oh man, it's just so nice. 
and you, uh, you can't even appreciate like the, just the subtle animations because like the first time you load it, there's like just a little few, you know, subtle animations and little things here and there. It's also like, I think the gradient for me, like it just, it does something to the theme where to me it just makes it look way more modern. So even like this footer, if this footer was just like black or white, like I wouldn't even think twice, but like the fact that it has like a nice little gradient, like it just, it gets me, man. It sounds weird, but you know, it's just, it just, it makes it look nice. But no, I think overall, it's just a very nice, again, just like, it's sometimes like psychological, like how they name these themes. Cause like upscale and like, I'm looking at this theme and like, oh man, it just looks very upscale to me. So <laughs> I, I tend to do that a lot, but maybe they do it for that same reason. So I don't know, we'll see at the end of it, like how the tier actually um, falls under, but upscale, Again, I think it's an excellent theme. I think it looks nice. I think when it comes to these types of themes, like where they're good, I think they're solid, right? They're solid, but they haven't necessarily gone to like a place of seniority, right? Um, compared to some other themes in here. So to me, I think upscale because it's new, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a, a B. I'm gonna give it a solid just because again, it hasn't been used enough for people to be like, okay, this is a, a good, a good theme, but I can actually see upscale being in the uh, Hall of Fame, which is the A or, or or an S tier. Let's go with this next one, Canopy. Okay, Canopy, I don't, actually, I don't know. I don't even remember Canopy being a, some of the older themes. There's like a newer theme, but again, just, just kind of like upscale. There's really, you know, some of the same features, some of the same uh, things. I think what, what makes them different is going to be things like these. So like color swatches, um, how they present, different things but at the end of the day like you look at all these and like some of them have some of the same features right um, now this is unique technically where you have like this video playing on the side and then you have text on the other side typically when you see videos on sections is like the whole thing so that's actually pretty unique I haven't seen that um, a lot and see like the review section again just a little bit a little bit more unique than you typically see um, you have a nice Instagram. Okay, so Canopy, hmm, for a clothing store. The other thing that like with these themes is like, you get so sort of like blindfolds on when you see the demo store. Okay, so Canopy, hmm, all right. Um, this is getting hard, man. So Canopy, I think, where is it at? There you are. Canopy, uh, mm, is it, it's pretty solid, yeah. I don't think it's a, it's a Hall of Famer. Uh, is it decent? Oh man. Okay, here's the thing. Like, I haven't really personally used Canopy for anything. So I think I'm gonna go with Decent. Again, ah, you're probably gonna hate me for this. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it under Decent. Um, I actually like it a lot. I, I'm not gonna lie. I, I like the theme. And something that I was, I was, I was mentioning was that you kind of get the blindfolds on when you're, you're looking at these, at these themes because you kind of see how they portrayed it within the demo store and you think that you have to kind of follow through with this and you really don't like you know you could have your own little flair to it and completely change it up um which i think one of the biggest things is like the fonts that you're using and the colors will completely change and obviously your photography will completely change the look and feel of this site so i don't know to me i, I think it's decent i think it's decent okay let's move on to the next one stiletto now stiletto is a theme that to my knowledge is a little bit newer but man, do I love this theme. Yeah, this, this is like, this is nice. This is a really nice theme. A couple things that I really like about it, and I tell you this because of personal experience, but these little tags, like the bestseller and the sales tag, you can actually make your own and they allow you to manipulate it however you want. And oh man, this theme is just ah, chef's kiss. So I really, really like Stiletto. This is like, um, it, it just has so many features and it has so many things that you can manipulate and, and do with it. And it just, ah, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm being too, uh, what's the word for it? Um, I'm not, it's not a bandwagon thing. No, it's not a bandwagon thing. I mean, it, it is a pretty newer, it's a newer theme, I would say that. And it's not in the most popular ones. So um, yeah, anyways, Stiletto to me, and this is because I've used it firsthand uh, with a site that I created and man, it's, it's S tier for sure. Is S tier. So we have our, actually our second S tier. Round of applause for that. Hey, I wanna remind you, if you're enjoying the content so far, make sure they hit that like button. It will really help us out a lot. All right, let's move on here to the next one. Blindly, just selecting a random tab in here. Uh, warehouse, ah, oh, man. 
I knew we would fall under um, one of these. Um, so warehouse, to me, just looks way too much like Amazon where like you have everything and anything on your store. So if you have that type of store where you're offering a wide variety of categories and stuff, then warehouse will probably be the one for you. There is a handful of other themes on the theme store that also kind of have this Amazon look. I don't like it. I personally don't like it. Um, to me, I'm also th trying to think of like, okay, would other people actually, you know, use this theme and it, would it be a good theme? It probably is a good theme, but for me, warehouse and for kind of like the clothing stores that I'm thinking, garbage, sorry. It, it could, t okay, so technically this could go under decent. Again, if, if you are that type of clothing store that has a lot of products and, and you want to make sure that you're talking about all these different types of products, then warehouse may be the place for you. But yeah, I think it's garbage. But it could be under decent. I will say that. I will leave it at that. Like it could live here. It could live in the C category. We'll leave it here for now. Until I, maybe maybe it'll change my mind as the video goes on. We'll see. Oh gosh. Okay, let's let's not talk about that one. Okay, fashionopolism. Fashionopolism is one of those themes that it's probably as old as a theme store. And at some point, it didn't look like this at all. It actually it was a very bad looking theme. So they've upgraded it so to make it look nice and whatnot. But at the end of the day, fashionopolism is just meh. It doesn't have anything cool or unique about it. It looks very bland. I don't like it. Although in the name of it, it has fashion in it. So if you're into fashion, you would think, this is my theme. No, don't do it. Don't use fashionopolism. Let me close this tab just so I don't I, I, or I forget about it. Fashionopolism, I, this is really garbage. Yeah. Man, I'm just like ripping all these themes. By the way, if you're a theme developer, developer out there, I'm sorry, uh, this, my personal opinion, it doesn't really count for anything. Um, so just, just let you know. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Um, I know you've seen it a couple times because I've been clicking on the, t on the tab. So that really ugly one that you just kind of got a glimpse of. Uh, moving on to the next one, Motion. I remember the first time I saw Motion, I was like, holy crap, like this is like a nice theme. And it was because I mean, you can't see the anime. Let me see if I can refresh the page here so you can kind of get a glimpse of like these, these subtle, look, look at this, subtle, subtle animations. As the name implies, motion, right? It has motion in, in between the theme, right? There's a lot of little little animations and moving parts uh, for, for this theme. To be honest, like I like it a lot. And I remember the first time seeing it, I was like, man, this is like next level. Like Shopify themes are like, amazing blah, blah blah like this is really what got me into like wow themes are are, are leveling up this year um i don't know when this came out maybe a couple years ago but still i remember looking at motion and being like just wowed um i will say it is it is a hall of famer for sure uh, i will say a hall of famer for sure okay the thing is like they change uh, like even on the on the tabs i can't even see the name of it because they change it to the theme style that i have selected so it's kind of hard to kind of go back to it but yeah, Motion, I think for a clothing store, it's just so nice. It just adds just a little bit of uniqueness to it. The only thing that I will say is, please make sure to change the fonts. Like, you change the fonts of any of these themes, you'll kind of become unrecognizable almost. Like, you're changing like the whole DNA of the theme, which is good, I would say it's good. Um, because you don't want to look like everyone else. So that's what would be like my, one of my main things. It's like, whenever I'm so in love with Motion, and there's another thing that this happens to me as well, where if I see another store using this theme, I immediately know that, okay, they're using motion. So it's just like little subtle things, but a lot of times really it's like, they just leave the same fonts. So this like bold font and then this, um, I don't even know what it's it, what it is. I'll, I'll, I could probably say it out loud, but I don't even know. Um, at the top of my head right now. But the fact that they just leave it the same, it's just like a kind of a dead giveaway uh, that they're using that. So what did we say? It was an A rank. Okay, yeah, the Hall of Fame, for sure. Hall of Fame, um, I will say that. So let's go to the next one, Warehouse we already did. Impact, ooh. Okay, so Impact is one of those stores where um, I think they were trying to riff off um, another theme that we're gonna talk about here in a second with the IM in the beginning of the name. But yeah, no, I mean, Impact is, is it's good, it's good. This is GOAT level status to me. And I think that you've even made some, yeah, because I don't remember this, the sort of gradient, uh, not gradient, I got you. Okay, this blur effect on the navigation, holy cow, like that looks cool. I don't think I've ever seen that. 
for that alone, yeah, that's goat status. No, but yeah, impact is one of those that higher on the list on the on the pop popularity, and it just it has its unique DNA. To me, it just has its unique DNA, and it just ah, man, it just looks nice. It looks very nice. It looks very elegant, um, and it has like these little things that just mm, yeah, no, yeah, impact. Where are you? Goat status. All right, moving on to the next one, Sahara. Sahara, just like Upscale that we just talked about here a few a few minutes ago, is a newcomer. From what I understand, I don't I don't even know, man. Like I, they don't have release dates, so it's hard to tell when they actually come out. But to me, it's it's a newer one. A couple things that I really like: the labels, product labels, if you will. Um, they're animated, so if you can see, this one says "new and exclusive," and it's just kind of like rotating right there. At first, I'm not gonna lie. I saw this thing and I thought it was like a checkbox and I was like trying to click on it. And then I looked over here and I was like, oh, that's a color swatch. Anyways, the color, the pictures should change, right? Whenever you click on the color swatch. So bad on you, Sahara, for not making that change right there. Anyway, Sahara, good. It's a good theme. Unique, it has the right amount of unique, I would say. As a newcomer, is it better than some of the most popular ones? I don't think it's better. Is it unique enough? I'll tell you what. I've never seen this on any other store. Let's just leave it at that. And I like this a lot. I'm also trying to like be like subconsciously, I'm trying to make sure that they all fit and like I have all of them, like at least some in some categories. But hmm, let's see, what would we do? Oh, upscale, we had it as a B, which is solid, it's solid. Sahara, is it solid? Yes, is it decent? Hmm. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna do Sahara as solid. Upskill, I'm gonna push you down. I'm gonna push you down to decent. This is hard, that's actually really hard. I hope you guys never have to do one of these videos because they are hard. All right, moving on here, Symmetry. Symmetry, again, popularity, like high, high on their popularity list. Um, I think just as Impact and the other theme that we haven't talked about that's also very popular that starts with I am. This is, Symmetry is just so elegant. It's so well put together has the right features. I'm gonna say Hall of Fame. It's definitely in the Hall of Fame. I don't think it's S tier, but it's definitely in the Hall of Fame. Origin, uh, oh gosh, uh, we kind of skipped this one early on. Um, Origin is, an, again, one of those other free themes by Shopify. I don't, I hate it. Yeah, I'm not even gonna say anything else. Um, Origin, uh, yeah, garbage. Next up. So this theme right here, Sunrise, I'm so sorry. Like this is, if I had another tier, which I should have, I should have added just another F tier this would be under that it's just so ugly this looks like take me back to 2000 literally 2000 when we were all making myspace was it 2000 no that was way too early 2006 2007 we're all in myspace making our, our own little like unique myspace pages this is what this reminds me of and let me tell you it's not pretty and i don't even know how this like this right here I think it showed up on the second page um, in terms of like popularity. So I don't know how they're still, I'm so, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, this is, this is not good. Sunrise, garbage. Man, there's more garbage than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> um, anyway, so the last one, not last but not least, Impulse. Man, Impulse is one of those themes that, I think there's even like a little joke online where every theme designer out there, everyone thinks that this is like the holy grail of, of themes. I mean, Rightfully so for even for I mean for clothing stores especially like this theme just kind of blew up I don't even know how but this is like top of the list when it comes to popularity and it comes to clothing stores A lot of clothing stores using impulse. This is another one that I do think that um, If you kind of put me on a blind test, I'll be able to identify which themes are using impulse. There's something about it um, it could be the um, if you go to like the the collection page you have like these I think they call them like promo sections, but yeah, you can just kind of tell, you know, when, when someone's using Impulse. And also, the again, going back to the font, they don't change the font, so you kind of very easily identify it. So Impulse, I think on, on a regular day, I would have said S tier, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with Hall of Fame. I think Impulse, been there, done that. Um, I, w I, would w I would love to give it uh, the, the GOAT. Um, it should be on the GOAT. A lot of people are probably gonna hate me for this, but yeah, to me, Impulse, it's, it's maybe, not out it's not outdated by any means but it's sort of it lived it's you know it's i don't know it's had its, it's had its yeah it's had its play it's run it was a nice run 
but I think there's there's some better themes out there that that are, are doing are doing better things. So here we have it, 15 themes ranked. Like I said, I think it, it's too much. It's not too symmetrical. No, it's good. I think I'm I'm happy with it. Okay, I'm happy with it. I will say there's a lot more garbage than I thought <laughs> there was gonna be. Because when I was picking the themes, I was like, oh, I gotta make sure that I include some that are not like just the best. So obviously I left a lot of things out there that we didn't even talk about. Um, obviously this video will be an hour long, so we don't wanna do that. But let me know in the comments what you think about the ranking. If we did a good job, thumbs up. If we didn't do a good job, thumbs up. Um, I'll be able to tell which ones are, are which. Just make sure you thumbs up. If you like this type of video, let us know in the comments below. It's a little bit more entertaining, right, than educational, but I was still trying to give you, you know, a couple of hints here and there. Um, but hopefully this will give you a better informed decision, right, on what clothing store theme you can use in 2023. Um, we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.